Hello everyone, welcome back to a new Destiny video. So it's been a pretty long time since I've released a guide on this channel. I've been doing a lot of Trials of Osiris lately, helping all the viewers, trying to get to the lighthouse, and even just run Trials of Osiris passages in general. I've been trying to help as many people as possible, so I haven't had too much time to release a lot of guides lately. But if you're in the market for a longbow synthesis and you didn't know the easy and fast way to earn crucible reputation packages, today is your lucky day because I am going to be going over a pretty simple and fast guide to earn crucible reputation packages. So let's not waste any time, let's get right on into this guide so you guys can get out there, start earning your crucible packages, and hopefully get that longbow that you guys have been wanting. So the first thing before we even get into the guide is that you guys, you definitely want to pick up your crucible bounties every single day and complete those first. So if you have three characters, this is the best method to do it. You can get three packages out of the way right in the morning if you do the bounties on all three characters with a Crucible Reputation booster on. It can be a little difficult because you do have to have a lot of Crucible Reputation boosters, which is why it's also important to pick up your Sterling Treasure. But so long as you just have a couple, you'll, you should be fine because once you get a couple Crucible Reputation packages, they will start to drop Crucible Reputation boosters. So you shouldn't ever have to actually run out. So, so long as you're completing your bounties every single day, you also do want to complete that daily crucible objective, and once a week complete that weekly crucible objective as well. This can help you get XP and sterling treasure as well, which can then help you get more crucible reputation boosters in the end. So after completing all the bounties and the daily and weekly crucible objective, you should have already earned one crucible package. So if you run it on all three characters, you can easily knock out a package every single hour. And all you really need to do is just complete those bounties and that weekly objective. And you can do that on all three of your characters just about every single day. So that's one of the easiest and fastest ways to earn packages right there. Now, if you're fortunate enough to be trying to grind out these packages on the weekend, Draws of Osiris is an even better place to earn the Crucible Reputation packages. So long as you just have two okay friends, you don't they don't even have to be too good, and you don't even need passage points either, you just need to be able to play Trials of Osiris. So you just really need two additional players. So pick up your Crucible bounties and make sure you pick up your Trials of Osiris bounties as well, just so you can complete as many at the same time as possible. Then head into Trials of Osiris with your two friends. Again, you don't need to pop your boons if you don't want to, but if you're trying to go flawless or just trying to get some extra rewards from Trials of Osiris, that can help as well. And also keep in mind that because you're playing Trials of Osiris every two hours, make sure that your friends and you yourself are actually taking turns popping your Crucible Reputation boosters. They're granted to the entire team, so there's no need to pop more than one at a time. Just make sure that one person in your fire team has one on at all times, and that way you can save as many as possible. So if your team is decent and you think you guys can get 7 out of 10 wins on your card, just keep playing out your card, and once you get 7 wins, you should see that your Crucible Reputation has gone up so long as you were running a booster. Now if your team isn't the best and you're, you find yourself losing a lot of games, there is a little trick that you guys can use to help you guys win more games. However, you're not going to end up going flawless or anything, but this can just help you win and get a little more XP towards your Crucible rep. So once you see yourself get 4 wins on your card, this is why it's also better just not to run boons. Once you hit 4 wins on your card, you do want to just go get a brand new Trials of Osiris Passage. That way you never get into any sweaty games. You'll never actually end up going against people that are as good as you or even better than you because you'll always be playing that first through third game. You'll never be playing people that are on their 5th and 0, 6th and 0, 7 and 0, 8 and 0. You'll never be going up against those hard sweaty teams, and it'll be easier to win if you just keep restarting your card at every time you hit 4 wins. So without completing any bounties, you should easily be able to earn 1 package every hour, so long as you are getting 7 wins. I know it can be a little hard to do that in an hour, but it will take between an hour and an hour and a half to get 1 passage completed, and 1 Crucible Reputation Booster in Trials of Osiris. And that's just if you're running the passage alone without any bounties. So if you're running bounties and you end up getting the 10 wins, you should easily see yourself getting 1.5 to 2 ranks in about an hour to an hour and a half. So hopefully this guide helped you guys out. I tried to relate it to people that play Trials and people that don't really play Trials too much. Hopefully you guys learned something new about Trials of Osiris and how it's actually a little easier to get those Crucible packages if you just end up restarting your passage at 4 wins. If you enjoyed this guide, be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're not already. And let me know in the comments what you guys got out of your Crucible Reputation packages. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.